Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Light back with another YouTube video. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing who's the best Robin or who my favorite is. I'll go over my favorite and I'll give my honest opinion on who the best Robin is to me. So, yeah, let's get into this. Um, yeah, Robin is one single name. It's been taken over. The mantle has been taken over by about five people officially, but there's been about six in all of comics and um yeah so i just wanted to go over similar to how i've done who's the best live action batman and who the best live action spider-man uh it's not live action robins is just uh, who's the best robin because there's so many uh and there's many different things and yeah uh everybody is entitled to their own opinion and stuff obviously so i might say oh damien wayne's the best robin uh, you might think Nightwing is, or sorry, not Nightwing, Dick Grayson. So yeah, uh, and there's more Robins than actually pictured in this picture. I just like the pictures, so I'm like, what? And it shows what everyone grows into, so I was like, why not? Let's put this picture. Um, so yeah, let's go over the, all the different Robins. All right, so we, first of all, we have the first Robin, Dick Grayson, uh, who eventually evolves into Nightwing. But we're not going to be talking about Nightwing, we're talking about the core Robin. Uh, and then we have Jason Todd, who was the second Robin, who unfortunately died when he was Robin, and he got, got Brock back, and now he is Red Hood, pictured over here. Uh, the third Robin is going to be Tim Drake. Uh, he's yeah, he's the third Robin, uh, and yeah, he turned ended up turning into, he kind of still was Robin, but he was more uh, kind of a little bit more independent kind of thing. He went on to go with the Teen Titans and stuff like that. And that's going to be uh, Tim Drake. And he's going to be turning into Red Robin. It's right here. It's pictures right here. And then we actually have a uh, brief break where we get actually Stephanie Brown as Robin. Which was, yeah, Stephanie Brown was the fourth Robin actually. But she was only Robin for I think a few weeks. She wasn't uh, Robin for a whole lot because... She was actually the girlfriend of Tim Drake at the time. And Batman actually fired Tim Drake from being Robin. So he decided to recruit Stephanie Brown to be Robin. So she ended up being Robin for a little bit. Uh, and then we ended up getting Damian Wayne. Uh, yeah, Damian Wayne is the son of, of Batman. Uh, and he's actually like blood related to Batman. Like Batman's his actual fa blood father. Uh, yeah, so he never turns into anything. He stays as Robin the whole time. Unless we're talking Injustice where he eventually takes up the mantle of Nightwing. But for the most part, he is just Robin. He's never, he never gets a, another name like such as like Red Robin or something mm -hmm. like that. And then, uh, the, those are the five official Robins that we know of. Or we, not that we know of, sorry. The five official that's been officially recognized as, uh, in DC as the official five robins but we also have carrie kelly uh who was actually robin for one one single comic and she was also in the movie as well uh and uh she was in the dark knight returns i think it's called uh it's pre pretty much when bruce wayne gets old that kind of kind of comic comic uh, yeah, again, Carrie Kelly is ends up taking up the mantle of Robin. And we're talking only about the Bruce Wayne Batman Robin. I'm not talking mm -hmm. about Terry McGuire, uh, Batman Beyond or something like that. So I just want to make sure that's clear as well. Because there's also could be other Robins and there's also Batgirl and there's... Spoiler. And oh, I forgot one thing too. Stephanie Brown ends up becoming Spoiler. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this. So, there's definitely some pretty cool things. Uh, these Robins have unique things. For example, Dick Grayson was the first Robin. He's questionably more, more of just, he's more loyal to Batman, I must say. Like, he's probably the loyal, most loyal out of all five. Probably, let's, let's go on a scale of loyalty. I think Dick Grayson is loyal. I think... Tim Drake is probably second. Not too sure about Stephanie Brown, but I then I would say maybe Damian Wayne, then Stephanie Brown, and then Red Hood or Jason Todd. I mean, 
So, yeah, I'm, this is not based off loyalty, but that's just what I want to say about that. So, yeah. Uh, each of the Robin, Robins have unique stuff, like, for example, Dick Grayson, he's very good at, like, aerobic, not aerobatics, because he was a, one of those people working in a circus, uh, he's, like, very good with that kind of stuff, and he's very fast and stuff like that, so that's one thing, uh, Jason Todd was, uh, very, just more of a fight first kind of guy. Uh, Tim Drake is more intelligent. He, yeah, he's very intelligent, and he yeah he's more intelligent than he is a fighter, but he still can fight. Damian Wayne again, he's more of like a fight fighter in my opinion. He's kind of like very similar in character wise, other than he he's a bit of a brat to be honest, with you guys. But he's very similar character wise to Dick Grayson's Robin. I just might might as well say that. And Stephanie Brown, she wasn't Robin for too long. So, to, in all honesty, I might just cut her, cut her off from this list. To be honest with you guys, just because Stephanie, or, or I'll, I'll continue to talk about her. Uh, Stephanie Brown is more of a fight first kind of person as well. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and then Robins, all these Robins have their certain flaws. Like for example, uh, let's go through their flaws real quick. Uh, Dick Grayson's flaw is more, he's more, he's intelligent, but he's not, he's not very intelligent, I mean, like, he, he understands, he's, he has the detective work, but he's just, I don't know, he's more of a fighter and stuff like that, and, yeah, uh, Red Hood, his flaw was he did not think properly, uh, like, he would just run, like, for example, when he was Robin, he went to Jason Todd Robin, he would just not disobey Batman, but he would just run off and fight villains and stuff, and that eventually got himself killed because of that whole thing when he just ran after the Joker, was careless, and yeah. So that's, well, if we're talking about the comics, that's a different thing, but at least in the Under the Red Hood one, he just ran off and was acting careless, but whereas in, he's very much hot-headed, uh, it reflects in his Red Hood character persona and stuff like that. All right, next we have Tim Drake. Uh, Tim Drake, again, like I just said, he's very intelligent. He's a good fighter as well, but again, he he's more... He tackles things with a lot of intelligence and stuff like that. And it, it also depends, too, as well. I must say that as well. I, it depends if you're talking about comics, a certain uh, like movie or TV show... Because Dick Gar Grayson acts very intelligent in Young Justice. I must say that, though. That's another thing. And Damian Wayne is... He he has very much aspects of both Jason Todd and Dick Grayson. Whereas in his personality, he's... He's very kind of loyal to Batman. But again, he's like Jason Todd, where he's very hot-headed. And he's a little kid, so he's like comes across like he's very bratty. Uh, he just, yeah, he, he comes across a little bit different. Uh, and then we have Stephanie Brown, who I didn't really uh, look at a Robin career, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but, like, yeah, I'm not too sure what to say for a flaw. I'm not too too much of an expert on Stephanie Brown as I am on the other Robins. Yeah, so let's just, let's just get straight to it, honestly. I've been talking about nine minutes going on. Sorry about that, but let's go with my favorite Robin. Uh, and I'm going solely off Robin, not who they involve into. Right away, I'm kicking Red Hood off or Jason Todd. Right away, I'm kicking him off. Stephanie Brown was not Robin for too long. Like these other ones have been uh, been Robin for a while. So yeah, I'm kicking her off too. Uh, it's nothing against her or anything, but Red Hood's definitely cool. But he Robin wise, he get kicked off, kicked off so really it's down to Dick Grayson and uh Tim Drake and then Damien Wayne um you know honestly I'm not a huge fan of uh Damien Wayne I just find him very bratty I mean he, he he's very powerful but like he's just very bratty in all honesty like I'm not a huge fan of how he acts like a brat all the time 
Um, but like, if you erase that, he would definitely be a good Robin. Like a saw, like better than the one I'm about to say. He would definitely be better. Uh, so yeah, that leads us down to Dick Grayson and Tim Drake. Uh, personally, to me, I'm selecting Dick Grayson. I that's my favorite Robin. I think he play he does he's he's a really good Robin first Robin again he and he's just I don't know I just really enjoy uh, his character and stuff like that I find I find Tim Drake's Robin in my personal opinion uh, I feel like Tim Drake's Robin is a bit doesn't take away from the Robin's character but he, he was he's very different than than the other the first two before him. Because, again, Tim Drake is more, very much more intelligent and stuff like that. So, it's very complicated to say with him. But I I think Tim Drake is definitely a really good Robin. Like, Dick Grayson for me, uh, he beats off Tim Drake in as my favorite Robin just by like 5% more. I really just, I, I don't know, I just really enjoy Dick Grayson. I enjoy, and I also enjoy who he grows up to be as well. Um... Uh, now, who I think is the most powerfulest, uh, it's very hard to say as well because you have to incorporate personality and stuff. So yeah, let's go through the list again. Stephanie Brown, I'm just going to kick her off immediately because she wasn't Robin. She was only Robin for like a few weeks or something like that. So yeah, uh, kick her off immediately. Uh, again, Jason Todd, <laughs> he was... In all honesty, was a, wasn't a good Robin. I mean, I like the character of Jason Todd, how he becomes Red Hood and stuff like that. But, damn, he, he wasn't a good Robin, in all honesty. Uh, Damian Wayne. Uh, now, I'm actually going to consider him to be one of the best. Uh, just because he's, his overall power is pretty good. Like, his fighting style. He can go toe-to-toe -to -toe on Batman and be fine. Uh... And, like, he can fight criminals and stuff like that. Like, we've seen it before. That's happened. Uh, so, it's not like he's bad or anything. So, yeah. I'm going to consider him Dick Grayson. In terms of power-wise. I feel like Dick Grayson might get his ass whooped, to be honest with you guys. Uh, just because the fact that Dick Grayson is just... I don't know. He He's just... He seems less powerful. Like, I've seen... Damian Wayne beat him before. Uh, Tim Drake, otherwise, that's a different story. But I've seen Dick Grayson get beat up by criminals and stuff like that. I feel like he needs a bit more training and then he maybe would go. So, yeah. And then we have Tim Drake. where He's not very powerful, but it makes up for it and his intelligence. Because, again, he's very intelligent. Like, he'll be able to help, Ra I mean, Batman easy and stuff like that. So, that's... that's a really good thing when you're a Robin is your ability to just help on with the Batman character. So yeah, what what I'm gonna be left on to is Tim Drake and and uh, Damien Wayne. Now, I think sometimes Jason, I mean Damien Wayne, again like I just said before, he's very bratty and he's just not hot headed, but like. He doesn't hesitate. I don't know. I don't know how to explain, but he's very bratty, and that shows in his character and the way he acts and stuff. Like, especially with like with villains and stuff like that. I'm not too much of a huge fan of the whole uh, Damian Wayne character again. But again, this is just who I think is the most powerful. But yeah, I think I think I'm gonna choose Tim Drake to be honest with you guys. I think he's he's very underrated, I must say, though. Uh, just because his whole intelligence, and he could still fight, so it's not like he, he can't fight or something like that. Like, he is, in my opinion, the strongest Robin. Uh, or at least character who was Robin for the time being. Like, I'm not talking about Nightwing or Red Hood or anything like that. So, yeah. But, like, if we're talking power-wise, like, strength and ability, I say Damian Wayne. But if we're talking uh, more of intelligence and just overall, I'm going to pick, of course, uh, Tim Drake. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching.
Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what who do you think is the best Robin? Who's your favorite? Curious to know. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.